God. Right and Hove Albion have just beaten Liverpool by a goal to nil. A team. I'm I'm just looking at the league table now, and out of the the bottom six teams in the league, five of them have managed to claim at least a point from Liverpool, and we're. 21-22 games into this season. It's this is just beyond coming beyond a joke now for Liverpool. I, I mean, you can blame the injuries all you want, but the the only we, the defence wasn't really the problem tonight. I mean, Phillips in defence was probably our best player. Henderson played all right as well, so the two centre backs weren't a problem. It's, it's it's Salah's not Salah's he's scoring a few goals in, in every now and again against United in the cup against West Ham on Sunday, but he he went missing tonight. Firmino he puts in a good performance. One I love him, but he puts in a good performance once every five games, and. Who, who else was in the front three? It was Shakiri. Shakiri was in existence tonight. Uh, Wijnaldum, Thiago and Milner. Milner's passing tonight wasn't up to his usual standard. Um, and Thiago and Wijnaldum, they kept the ball well, but they just didn't do anything with it, which plays right into Brighton's hands. So... What have we learnt from tonight? Liverpool have no plan B whatsoever. But they, they, they were, we Liverpool didn't have... They had one shot on target. One. And even that was a deflected shot from Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain that Robert Sanchez literally had to go... Like this. Oh, of course. it. Well done. <sighs> Just crap from Liverpool. Even the subs that came on, Origi and Oxlade Chamberlain, failed to really make an impact. Teams have now worked out how to win or even or get a draw against Liverpool. You just put ten men a ten men behind the ball and go go forward on the counter attack when Liverpool start to become desperate. And, I mean, transfer window's over now, isn't it? Uh, they reckon Jota and Mane could be back for the Man City game. But, as we all know, Man City have pretty much the best defence in the league this season. So, I'm not sure exactly how we are going to deal with that one. But, on another note, Brighton, what a performance that was by them. I mean... That they could, Brighton are more threatening going forward at Anfield than Liverpool. Do you see my point here? Liverpool, the champions of England, the previous champions of Europe 18 months ago, are less threatening at home than Brighton and Brighton and Hove Albion are. It's it's beyond a joke. And then I've said like. Out of what the eight videos I've made on Liverpool so far, I reckon we might have won three of them. I mean, for champions of England, that's a bit crap, isn't it? And it, it, it is a mess. But, I mean, Webster, Adam Webster, Lewis Dunk, Dan Byrne, Ben White, they, they were all brilliant for Brighton today. Um. The, the goal for Brighton, it, yeah, it was a bit bit of a fluke, but they deserved it because there were many other times where they could have scored. Like Dan, Dan Byrne, Dan Byrne, Brighton's left back, a left back who's six foot seven, is more threatening than Mohamed Salah, who's supposed to be one of the best wingers in the league. They never forget the league, the world. He's supposed to be. It's ridiculous. 
But the, the goal by Alzate, Nat, Nat Phillips, who I thought him and Henderson had a decent game at centre back. Um, they they played some good balls forward, and those were the only times where Liverpool looked threatening. Salah had a chance early on. It was a brilliant ball by Henderson. He should definitely have done better with it. Uh, and the the goal came from Dan Byrne heading it across the box. Phillips fl uh, flicking a foot at it. He was outstretched, and he he did well to get a touch on it because once you get a touch on it. You'd think that that's going to put this if the striker's within a yard. You, you'd think that that's going to put them off. But Al Alzate, Alzate, I think that's his surname, Stephen Alzate, sort of miskicked it, and it came off Trossard back onto Alzate as his foot's gone forward to kick the ball, and it's bounced the back stuff and gone past Kelleher in the net. And it, yeah, but Bright Brighton had many chances where they could have scored. Dan Byrne was just a threat going forward. Uh, Kelleher made a couple of decent saves. To be fair to him, uh, the the one positive that has come out uh, in the past uh, few months is that Liverpool do look like they've got a solid backup goalkeeper in Kelleher. I I, I like him. I think he's. Uh, better than Adrian, uh, and he's, he is good enough to be Liverpool's backup goalkeeper for the next five, six, seven years, hopefully. And yeah, but when Adam Lallana left left Liverpool last season and joined Brighton, I, I doubt he was really thinking might get a win at Anfield next season when I join Brighton. Brighton's previous record at Anfield is a 4 0 loss in May 2018, um, a 1 0 loss in August 2018, and a 2 1 loss in November 2019. The last time they won at Anfield was 1982, 30, 39 years ago now. I was about to say 38, but it's 2021, isn't it? What a crap 2021 Liverpool are having. On another note, though, uh, Jesse Lingard, Jesse Lingardinho, has scored a double for West Ham on his debut. So it's, it's, it is genu genuinely uh, good to see him back in form. Uh, in, in other results this evening, Everton beat Leeds, which, again, that's, that's a good result away at Ellen Road. Uh, I haven't seen the highlights to any of these games. I'm just going off the, the results and the goal scorers. And earlier in the earlier kickoffs, Man City beat Burnley and Leicester beat Fulham. So I mean that that's putting even more pressure on Liverpool now. Um, to well, I I I'm ninety nine percent sure Liverpool won't win the league this season now. I mean, I, there was a little bit of hope after the past two games against Tottenham and West Ham, but the, all that hope's gone now. Uh, and Liverpool now have got a, a challenge on their hands to make top four. And I, I think when a team wins a league title and um, invests some money in the summer, Thiago, Schotter, even Simicast was over £10 million. And uh, like... How many teams go from winning the league to struggling to make top four? And we might not even make top four. You've got Leicester in 2016 and Chelsea in 2015. That That's pretty much it. Oh, and maybe United in uh, 2014, as, no, 2013 as well. But th that that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, that's a bit of a crap one. Tottenham v Chelsea tomorrow night. That should be a good game. Uh, but thanks for watching and uh, if, if you've enjoyed please hit the like and subscribe button and it, it helps me out uh, and anyway I'll see you next time.